You are not just really want to figure out, guys, the best build to dominate the deep. Just kidding, just kidding. This is just a video about something probably only me cares about. You might be asking, who am I? I'm Matt. I go by Cry on Project Ascension Season 9 server Illumin. I've been a huge WoW fan since I could walk basically, playing for many years through the game's ups and downs. And by fate, landed here on Ascension many years later. I love the concept that Ascension offers, mainly that you can make your own builds. And the vast amount of custom content the team behind Ascension has created throughout the years. I'm still pretty young in terms of how long I've played, starting at the tail end of Season 8, and I've been a hard degenerate when Season 9 released. I've been having fun, and I see no end to my future endeavors in the game. However, there's something that has been nagging me for the past couple of months. I've tried many builds to hopefully land on what feels just right, and I did find something I enjoy. Along the way though, I've been exposed to basically all the spells and talents it has to offer, custom or not, and have formed a general opinion that, and have for, <coughs> and have formed a general opinion that basically boils down to, spells and talents feel lackluster. Okay, okay, before you kill me, just hear me out. I mean, sure, the funny number is big when you click button, but the feedback the spell or talent should give could be way better than it is right now. Ascension makes use of archaic and dated visuals that has been replaced in later iterations of WoW, which, let's be honest, looks and sounds very nice. In my own humble opinion, you might be thinking, this is not an issue, there's way bigger issues to fix. And yeah, you would be right. I just don't care. <laughs> so, where do we start? Let's take some examples before we go any further. Let's start with Chaos Bolt. With a name like that, you would expect something insane, something big, something destructive. But then in game, it's, it's just this. <laughs> I did show the new one before, but I'm just gonna show it again just to, you know, so you can see and get a feel for it. I mean, is there even any competition? Now let's take a look at Pyroblast. And here is the reworked one. The difference is huge. I could go on and on about several of these, but the video would be too convoluted and long in the end, so I'll just move on to the next part. My initial question was, is it even possible to port the new spell visuals down to an older expansion? Ascension is based on Wrath of the Lich King, and these visuals was 10 years in the future, so it's a given that the chances would be slim. Or are they? Well, I decided to seek out the answers myself. I went through the relatively easy step of setting up my own private server, where I chose to work with Trinity Core. Trinity is what many private servers out there use to get off the ground because of its accessibility and ease of use. The stable release of Trinity is also based off of the 3.3.58.12.340 patch of Wrath of the Lich King, which was the latest and last patch of the expansion. Through many years, it has been worked on tirelessly to achieve a good framework of which developers can make their own version of World of Warcraft. There's a bunch of steps that I gloss over here, as there is a bunch of things to make it work and make your own server. The gist of it is basically, you compile the two servers, off server and world server, in which the off server handles the logins, the accounts, the realms, the connections going to the server, basically the logistics. The world server handles the world itself, which includes NPCs, pathing of NPCs, quests, characters, and so on and so forth. These two make the server even work and enables you to connect and make characters and traverse your very own world. Now we have the basic of things going. How do we change or add new content? There's a multitude of tools that can help with this, to make it easier to understand and manage. From vanilla to Wrath of the Lich King, the game had .mpq files, and there are the patches to the game, housing all the entities, 3D models, and visuals inside of it. Having a look inside of the .mpqs, it's pretty hard to make sense of which goes where and what the things correlate to. But this is where another tool will come in handy, the spell editor by Stone underscore Harry. This tool is amazingly good for managing your spells, creating new ones, or even replacing an existing one to do something else. What we would want to look at in this case is Chaos Bolt. 
If we select it, we can head over to the visual tab and the subcategory we would be looking at is the missile model and kits and effects. To make it easy to understand, range spells in WoW is based on a missile system in which the projectile's visual is a missile. The system refers to the .mdx files and .skin files in which both contain textures and binary to make up the 3D model. What we can see here is that Chaos Ball uses the decimate underscore missile.mdx file and we can head on over to the .mpq file that contains this very file. I found it in the common dash 2.mpq file on the spell so it's pretty convenient. So we found it. We know where its visuals are. We know we can essentially replace it. We're just lagging the new visuals Chaos Bolt has. Fortunately, it's pretty straightforward. I downloaded a tool named Wow Export and downloaded an old Shadowlands build of Wow. Here, I search for Chaos in the search filter. What we really like to see is the Warlock Chaos Bolt missile. That has to be it, right? Sure enough, it is. It's rather ugly though. No matter though, textures will surely make it better. So, do we just plop that into a .mpq file and let it rip? We can do that. Yeah, let's see if it actually works. I created a new .mpq file, having the suffix C, to make it the last thing WoW loads. The client loads the patches in a chronological order, which means you do not have to replace the file inside the common .2.mpq file. But rather, you could put the new spell visuals inside the patch C, rename the files to correlate with the Chaos Bolt missile, which would be decimate underscore missile dot m2. And it would be fine, right? <laughs> well, something is not right. I proceeded to scour the internet of how you can change or modify visuals for wild spells. It led to mostly dead ends and already forgotten forums that has since closed, though I happened upon a golden opportunity. You can open the .mdx or .m2 actually files. I downloaded the 010 editor and opened the old chaosbolt.m2 file in it. Initially, it all meant nothing to me, but I proceeded to scroll down and there it was. Lines of code pointing to textures. This was a major breakthrough in my research. Opening the new Chaos Bolt visuals yielded almost the same structure of the old one. As expected, there was no lines of code that pointed to the textures at all. I wrote the paths and tried once again. <laughs> what? How did this not work? I spent several hours backtracking what could have gone wrong until I thought of the Ascension devs surely has tried to do this before, right? I opened several of the patches that Ascension houses trying to find if they have downported visuals themselves. And lo and behold, they have done it. I extracted the file and took a look at it in the editor and they did the exact same as I did. What I failed to observe was the top of the file. They had changed or rather deleted the MD 21 and only kept the MD20. Was this really the fix? It works! They have actually done it. Well, I guess that's it. Video over. Okay, maybe not yet, but I want to talk about this. This was only Chaos Bolt and there's numerous files like this in their patches. I did try out the other spells in the same manner. Some were fine results and some that are just broken. It's understandable that the team behind Ascension is hesitant and withdraw these new visuals for us. They are based on a whole new system which to some degree cannot be imitated on the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. Also to note that it would be taxing and difficult to go about all these individual files manually and make them work how they should with a good end result to push to the users. So what was my goal with this? I was mainly interested to see if I could even do it myself and ended up with a bunch of more knowledge about the topic and a better perspective of the intrinsics of how these things even work. This was not meant as a video to bash the dev team of Ascension at all. I quite frankly sympathized with them with how much goes into these kinds of things. My goal was to get more eyes on this and hopefully to get a better experience for the player base overall. But to you, 
I just want to say thank you for watching. I appreciate you sticking around. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like or dislike the video. I'll see you in the next one. Before I fuck off though, please answer my job application. Thank you.